What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Hey Archer. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for liking and... Actually, you didn't like it yet. Why didn't you like the video yet? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, get notified when I make new videos in my crazy basement. So, I'm trying another thing differently this week. You may recognize the background because this is where I did my first video after like a two-year break or whatever. And I decided that since it's so hot, I would go into the room with AC, which is my room. So I'm back in the room with the Captain America stuff and the let's show you. Captain America shield, the power axe that I made. I'm not nerdy at all. But as I mentioned, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. So I tried to do something also different. I'm, I'm always, what I like about, you know, being a creative, if you would, or a creator, having a creative mindset, is I'm always trying new things, trying different ways of giving you guys content. And I did not give you any content last week because it was summer and I was actually enjoying my time off, which is actually a thing that you should do. I highly encourage it. I was going to do this video as a live YouTube video, but apparently I don't meet the requirements from YouTube to do it at mobile, like a mobile live video. I'm not sure how that works. So I'm doing it in the traditional sense of recording the video. However, there is one change. I'm using my front face camera so I could see myself and also see if it's recording. So, the video quality might be crappy, and if it is, I apologize. We'll go back to normal next week, or in the next video with the rear face camera. Actually, it would probably be a next week video type of thing. But this is going to be a DC-focused video because the new Titans trailer has come out. And I don't know if you guys knew this. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I was actually a pretty big fan of Titans Season 1. And it's part of the whole push that some of these companies are doing to show superheroes in a more dark, gritty type of way. And upon the initial trailer of Titans, I thought it was going to be stupid. Um, once I saw the first episode after, I think it was after Comic-Con last year, I thought the show was just silly. But as time went on, people kept saying, give the show a chance, give the show a chance. Being that I'm a DC fan, I, you know, I said, you know, whatever, I'll, I'll make it through at least three episodes and give it a shot. And sure enough, I really enjoyed the show. So when I saw today that Titans Season 2, the trailer finally dropped, I got excited. We're going to watch that together, and we will uh, discuss once we're done. So again, thanks for coming to the channel. Let's watch this video right now. Being hunted by sociopaths. We are a group of people who share a common enemy. Which makes us what? An alliance, one born of mutual need. Jason, what are you doing here? It's Batman. Something inside of him just snapped. This wasn't justice, this was a massacre. You've always wanted me to give in to the darkness. You win. <laughs> This was not my doing. This was his. Dick. I've released your friend from a terrible burden. Oh, Rachel. You'll see. They'll all see. I see you made the news with your old Titans friends. There's some new ones, too. Titans are back, bitches! <laughs> There are no sidekicks in Titans. We're partners. We have each other's back. This is the new Titans. Crypto. So what are we? Titans 2.0? Titans the next generation.
Deathstroke. All right, so uh, I probably should have mentioned this before, but if you did not watch season one, that teaser may have had a couple spoilers in there. Not um, as I watched it, nothing was completely like it was things that if you watched the show from beginning to end, you wouldn't you probably forget you even saw it anyway. So that was actually a teaser trailer. It wasn't the actual like a full trailer or anything like that. And what's great about it, in my opinion, is that they are actually showcasing the Titans as a whole. And one of the issues that a lot of people had with the first season was that it show, it was too focused on Robin and not on the rest of the Titans. And this is something that is not new to DC. So I don't even know if I, I don't even need these headphones anymore. It's something that's not new to DC. And if you watched Teen Titans, the original Teen Titans show, it was very Robin focused. But with a couple episodes that well, would highlight Beast Boy or Cyborg or you know any of the other Titans, Starfire, Raven. So I'm hoping that with season two, again, that Robin is the main focus of it, but that you have these episodes that spotlight the other Titans. Exciting things that you saw in there, of course, Superboy uh, premiering in there. And it's Superboy from um, Young Justice, that version of Superboy, which was in the comics as well. You had um, Donna Troy there and Hawk and Dove are back which to me were the best parts of season one. And the only thing I'm hoping for here, as they showed um, how season one ended, is that season two is not all of a sudden more lighthearted. One of the things that people loved about Doom Patrol, if you got a chance to watch that, is that while having characters with a lot of depth, it was more bright than Titans. And people complained a lot about how dark, even just visually, how dark Titans was filmed. Uh, Cinematography-wise, not necessarily content-wise. Something that I eventually started to like about Titans was how dark it was as far as the violence, as far as um, Hawk and Dove's backstory, Robin, um, and their relationship between the three. Um, And of course, Batman overshadowing everything. So some, that's something I enjoyed about it, and I hope they don't all of a sudden make it more lighthearted because they want it to be more family-friendly. But lastly, that one part that I was kind of thrown off because it was so blatant was when they're just like, Deathstroke. Like, we know that's Deathstroke. I mean, that's what... That's it, it's, that's the Deathstroke costume, so I'm not sure where they'd be in confusion there. But I'm excited for season two. Um... I think that if you have not watched Titans Season 1, you should. I think if you don't have the DC Universe app, you should consider getting it. And I'll make a video about that. And I think that, you know, currently the way things are going, as far as a home video is concerned, if we can label it that, the gritty, darker type of superhero shows are being very successful. Whereas the bright, you know family friendly type shows are not those are more it seems those do better on the big screen versus at home so we'll see if that trend continues especially as we start going fully into digital so let me know down below if what you thought of the trailer let me know if you watched titan season one if you plan on watching titan season one and if you have the dc universe app and i will talk to you guys in the next video